you guys what's going on so i just finished hunger of the gods and this book the last the last two chapters i'm not gonna do spoilers but like what wtf whoa whoa the lat the, the end of this book pushed me pulled me into reading the next one I was going to take a break. I am tired of all these Viking names. They're hard to listen to. They're hard to read sometimes. But just li just reading the, the last part of that book was like, yes, please. And that's exactly what I did. I'm starting the Fury of the Gods. I had planned that this was going to happen. That's why I waited so long for Hunger of the Game Gods. I was going to wait. But I was like, you know what? I don't want to have to like remember everybody again. There's so many names in this book. But I do love the way he writes recaps in the very beginning of each book. To tell you, hey, this is what's happening. Uh, don't forget this guy's name. This, so this happened, this happened, this happened. I, I love it. I wish all authors would do this. This is one of the plus things I love about this guy is the way he does this like brandon sanderson needs to take do this sometimes because uh, you forget everything you forget you know it's been years especially if winds of truth is coming out i don't know what happened i'm gonna have to reread i'm not gonna even try to attempt to reread all those books uh, i read the uh, way of kings twice that one i recently just read it that was great but i love how he does this and uh, I wish other uh, writers would do this. So let's get back to what I what else I really liked about the book. The, the progression of the book was a little slow in this one, but a lot of things happen, and we have a lot of different. I like how we have multiple. We have he's adding on more POVs to progress this story. Uh, I like the POVs he picked. One of them in particular, I didn't really think that he would because he was kind of a minor character, not a minor character, but a bad guy. Well, they're both. I guess would be bad guys. I don't know. They're not really bad guys, but in the first book you think they are, but then you get to know them more and there's other things happening. So very vague, but I don't want to do any spoilers. So I, I like the extra POVs, which I guess would have to add on to what I kind of didn't like was a, is a little long. It's about an extra hundred pages in this book. And that's okay because again, he's adding two more POVs, which is going to take up some uh, words. So great work there. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, each of their stories and how they all come together is great. You get to see them, uh, you know, in the first book, they're kind of far away from each other. And then now they're kind of interacting with each other, which is fun. The action scenes in these books are legit. Like, like you really see the tainted get down. Like they get down. Like they're, they release each of their, whatever they're uh, uh, tainted with, wolves, dragon, born, rats, they get down. And in, in a couple chapters in this book uh, where you see them unleash themselves. And when they unleash themselves, they have to kill everybody because they, they can't be, no one could know that they're, they're like this. So you got a lot of different kinds of like these, these warriors, but with a little bit extra, a lot of extra power. Um, the, the different gods we see, you know, you can already tell from the front of the book, the cover that it's going to be this giant wolf. And, uh, I don't think it's a spoiler, but you know, to kill a God, you need a God. So I, I thought that was pretty cool because, uh, the last book, we didn't get to see that, that humongous dragon towards the very end. And, uh, I like, I like that each cover has, a, I, I'm guessing is a God. And um, that's fun. Uh, you know, you raise these guys to fight these guys. I want to raise this god to fight this god. And uh, just the, the fight scenes there are just... Are, are up there with, like, you know, Kaladin and um, Dalinar fights and stuff like that. So, great work there. I really enjoyed it. Uh, again, the book flowed better. It was a little long. I think we could have shaved a little bit off. Uh, other than that, the ending of this book really pushed this to like a 4.8, 4.9 star. Pushed me into Furry of the Gods, which I'm 
very interested in reading finishing hopefully i'll finish that up in a week so i'll have my whole november october uh what i read in october for you guys and other than that um 4.9 great book hit the like hit the sub i'm on this channel now um uh, some of you might thinking, well, aren't you on that Comics and Tortillas? That's my comic book one. I, I, uh, real quickly, um, I was double dipping. I was putting my books, my reviews on that channel. And a lot of my followers there are hardcore comic book fans. And so they did not like me putting novels on there. So I started to lose some of the followers. So I'm going to be posting all my book stuff here. And then I'll still have the comic book stuff there. So please hit a like and a follow and um, leave a comment below if you've read Fury of the Gods or you're going to read Fury of the Gods. And if you did read it, is it worth it? No spoilers, just your opinion. What do you think? Yes or no? And uh, if you are going to pick it up. And uh, again, this is uh, the Mem91 and I'll hit you guys later. Peace.